Good afternoon, Lewis. Where are we today? Camping. At, At Cardwells. So this is a working farm. Yeah, well, Phoenix. Phoenix football team. So we're here with Lucy's football team. Uh, their annual sort of bonding camp session. So we always do a camp, although it's his first year with Phoenix, but we've joined the lads a few times because he knows them quite well. Right, let's go and have a look at these piggy wigs. What are we calling them? I've called one bacon. I think you've called one pepper. <laughs> George. What have you called it then? Nigel. Nigel. Grandma? Nigel. Okay. Did you? Have a look. Oh wow! Call cool, it Lewis's scratch all the time. Need to find some grass. See if you can give him a feed. I think he's scared. Scared of feeding. Hey. If they're trying to find truffles. You're going to feel a bit cruel in the morning when we're having bacon sandwiches and these are like in the field next to us. Truffle is like a mushroom that pigs sort out. Right, let's wander back down then and we'll show you where our field is. <laughs> Push it through. There you go. You're going to take it. My feeding time at the zoo. Louis feeding the pigs and then the pigs are going to be Louis's breakfast. I'm feeding them dark and then they feed me. Taking it all. Cool. Thank you. That's alright. A little bit scared of you. Whoa! Whoa, 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 dearie me. Ouch. Yeah, that one went to the pub last night, but it's not allowed back anymore, Lewis. Do you know why? Do you know why? Why? Because it's barred. You have a t just have a touch of the fleecer. So this is been freshly shaven off the sheep. Well, we're getting a bit more confident. Hello. Mint sauce. Is he stuck? <laughs> Kill. Lucy's having a staring competition with sheep and losing. Cow yeah. down here. Oh, it's actually it's a bull. I think so. It's got a hot ones, hasn't it? So I don't think it's a cow. It does, doesn't he? And most of the time he's not telling the truth. Do you know why? He's normally talking bollocks. Oh, bullsh... He's a bit sad. <laughs> don't think he would, mate. On the campfire, on the campsite. So yeah, they've got an honesty shop here. So buckets of wood, ten pound. Bags of kindling, five pounds. And they've also got a little honesty shop here. Do you want to go and have a have a quick look in the honesty shop? So this is the honesty shop. Oh, we've got a microwave as well in here, Lewis. Oh, I've been recorded. So this is the honesty box. You can get some books. And here's. All the pastas and sauces. Where is the money if you buy for? There's a box there. Yeah. Oh, camping gas, four pounds. Glad we got it the uh... cool. So the main site is down all the way down at the bottom, but we're in a, a different field. Definitely a cow. Oh. Oh. So it's a working farm. Oh, 
Well, it might be actually, you're right. Okay, he's got horns, it's a bull. Why can't I think of it? <laughs> oh, he's a cow. I think cows might have horns as well. Comment below whether cows have horns. Why are these all coming to us now? I think they're going to be fed. Right, I'm going to potter down to the bottom field and have a look at the pods and Lucy's going back, that's our tent over there, we'll show you more of that later. Be only be five minutes mate. So because we're with uh, a group we've rented a, a field called the paddock, so you don't play for individual tents, you just rent the field for the night, it takes up to ten. I can't remember how much it was, it wasn't a huge amount, uh, which is over there. And then the main campsite's over here, so we'll just have a potter down that look, the scenery is beautiful over here. This is the main field. There is electric hookups down here, I believe. It is quite a basic campsite. It's not glamping in any means. It's got everything you need. There's washing facilities there. Waste for your toilet to pour out. And then your toilet block. And I would imagine these ones at the end of your... Yeah, yeah. Shower cubicles there. The bottom. All I would say about the paddock is when you arrived, um, you do actually keep horses in there, that's why it's called the paddock. It's a little tent when you arrived. Hopefully, one of the lads' dads cleaned it all up before we arrived. Lucky us. Alright, uh, we're going to have a quick look at the pods and then head back. So, the pods are literally just off from that main field, just down this uh, track here. Okay, so it looks like they've got three pods. Skidwell view. Pretty basic inside. Two beds, a fridge and a sink. Get your own private forecourt. I don't think there's any hot tubs or anything massively spectacular. Barbecue set up. Little light hang park view. They have got the best views though actually. So you can see why people bit more glamping I guess still you're still using well, I'll show you the toilet now and that's the last of the three so you're still using uh, chemical outside toilets so not really glamping and then it looks like there's a bell tent as well at the end and that is pretty much that there's the farmhouse at the top where we started and there's all the boys well not all of them we still got some to come from Lewis's football team having a kick around. Quick look back towards the, the pods. The weather looks a little bit changeable. It's supposed to be okay, no rain. It's not the warmest summer in England this year.
<laughs> fire to it. Good morning, Louise. So, time to go home. How was your camping? Good. Good. Are you tired? Yeah, we had a good time with the Phoenix lot, haven't we? Yeah. Your new football team for the season. Um, yeah, a bit damp, a bit cold, but the fire was good last night, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, would recommend? You very. Yeah, I think so. It's a good location. Basic for facilities, but then you know that before you get here, so that's all good. Right, so what do we say now? Until we camp again later? Alligators. Alligators from the campsite. Everybody packing up to go home. <laughs>